Hello, my name is Mike Wimmer. I'll be your professor for Illustration 450, Business Strategies and Entrepreneurship. I want to take this time to introduce myself and also get to know you. This is an introduction to our very first pre-assignment exercise. So I hope you will follow along. Uh, I emailed to you a link of a PDF that you just need to fill out. It'll be able to pre-fill itself just uh, within the empty gaps. Let me know a little bit about yourself. I'll share with you my personal self bio poem. My name is Mike. I am strong, experienced, stubborn, and generous. I am the sibling of two brothers and one sister, the lover of my children, Eli and Lauren, and my best friend and lover, Jimmy, who feels fulfilled when making art, anger at stupidity and racism, and butterflies when my wife walks across the room, who gives of my experience, hugs to my children and friends, and quality in everything that I do, who fears blindness, both physical and spiritual, mediocrity, and of course, time. I would like to see true love and appreciation for everyone's unique gifts. I would like to see quality upheld as a virtual and my wife's smile. I live in Savannah, Georgia, Wimmer. So if you'll fill that out and then go ahead and create a presentation of four to six of your favorite pieces, maybe they want to uh, serve as a way to introduce what your hoped for career will be. Maybe a concentration in gaming or children's book illustration or such. I haven't had the pleasure of having many of you in class, so I'll introduce you through my work a little bit so you can get to know a little bit about who I am. I am a father. I love being a father. I have been painting my children's portraits every year for their birthday. It's put together in a documentary kind of uh, book called A Father's Love Diary Childhood. I am also now continuing that practice by painting my grandchildren's portraits every year as well. So these are some of my children and grandchildren. Uh, I have painted over 400 book covers from children's adventure stories to adult romance. These I have also been able to create for myself a series of books primarily focusing on biographies of famous people and historical figures. My newest one is Alexander Hamilton, which you see on the right there. It just came out this last year. I'm working on another one now about Thomas Jefferson, starting the research on that as well. I've done tons of advertising work and promotional work for corporations. In 1995, I was tasked to create the new kinder and gentler Mr. Clean. Uh, he'd been around for a while, but they reformulated Mr. Clean to be kinder and gentler on your skin and wanted a new Mr. Clean to represent that. Well, I used my friend who had been on my weightlifting team. He had been a friend I'd known for a number of years, a uh, fireman. Well, this campaign took off and became much more than either one of us ever expected. Later, it was uh, Mr. Clean, my Mr. Clean, Bob Callahan, the fireman, was named as one of the 100 sexiest men in America and appeared on the cover of People magazine. I also created the new look and the new character for the brawny paper towel man. Uh, I also did a year, uh, probably five to six years worth of illustrations trying to reboot Camel's image after they had gotten a lot of trouble using a cartoon character named Joe Camel. Each of these uh, images were really a recreation and a look back at a time when smoking was supposedly cool and when it's historically and contextually accepted. Uh, so the images themselves refer back to a retro kind of period, but there's a new modern twist in each of the illustrations. At the train station on the left, you'll see that the woman is, has a barbed wire tattoo around her ankle, and the World War II fighter pilot is wearing a digital watch. For 11 years, I created all the packaging for Kimberly Clark's Huggies diapers. So I had the opportunity of painting babies in every imaginable position, 
state of being, age, crawling babies, walking babies, you know, uh, running babies, uh, and every kind of baby imaginable. I got very good. I will tell you, as an artist and as a portrait painter, the hardest thing in the world to paint are babies' faces and beautiful women. It's just the subtleties of the variations are so slight. They're so subtle that it really makes it very difficult. I've done a number of gaming illustrations covers for even some of the new, uh, well, what were new video games early in the 1990s. And of course, some throwbacks. This is one that I'm especially proud of, only because everybody has played this game, Candyland. Uh, Milton Bradley wanted to celebrate their 50th anniversary of Candyland, and I was tasked to create the anniversary packaging. Uh, in doing so, I also really got into the characters and created these little uh, gingerbread men for myself as something to look at as my model. I showed those to the art director, they liked them and asked if I would make a few tweaks and ended up using my three-dimensional characters as models for their play pieces. I also got to do the interior board design for the new Candyland as well. Some of the other packaging I've worked on is for Celestial Seasons. I have more than 20. I've kind of lost count. Some of lasted and stood the test of time and some have not. I'm especially proud of the Christmas images I've done. Every year around Christmas you'll see a number of my Celestial Season tea packages repackaged, brought out together, sometimes in a group package of all the Christmas collection. This one is a gingerbread spice tea. Another one would be Candy Cane Lane. And here we see another one called Cranberry Vanilla Wonderland. Advertising illustrations for Procter & Gamble again, this time for another one of their packages, Febreze. It's supposedly a, an advertising campaign to harken back to the time when we would go out into the wilds and cut our own Christmas trees down and bring the smell and the freshness of Christmas into our homes. Well, now we can do it just with a modern twist using an aerosol spray can that smells like Christmas trees. <laughs> Also, one of my clients is uh, probably been a client for more than 20 years is Smuckers. I've done a lot of very wholesome, very family Americana type illustrations. This was an illustration for a box design that packaged or that held a lemonade stand kit in a box. Everything that you needed to have your own lemonade stand. And probably my most famous most iconic image was the image I did for the Lion King soundtrack for the first Lion King. It was also used for promotional material. That led to the second soundtrack and promotional material for Lion King 2. I also got to work on pre-production work for The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Pocahontas, Hercules. So I've been working in the movie industry, the advertising industry, packaging design, children's publishing, adult publishing. I also do portraiture. And the fun part about this is getting to know all of the different clients, all the different diverse backgrounds from where everybody comes from. I primarily paint portraits for people who are being honored with some uh, special recognition of their achievements or maybe their position in society such as judges or politicians and or corporate moguls such as T. Boone Pickens. The real honor is getting to know these men and women and finding out about their lives and being so intimate in many ways and getting to become friends with them over time. Uh, it's just fascinated with what makes someone that we call a hero or celebrity, and it's great to be able to uh, bring their legacies to life through these paintings. I'm also find time to work on projects for myself. This is one of a series of paintings that I started called the Will Work For Project. I was fascinated with the uh, men and women I would see on the streets holding up cardboard signs, we'll work for food, we'll work for a hand up. And it started making me ask myself, what is it that I work for? What is it that I put my time, my efforts, my passions towards? I started asking others and was really fascinated with the different answers. And I wanted to represent that, uh, each individual's unique gifts, their passions, their desires to make the world a better place, and created this series called We'll Work For. There's some 25, it's continuing to grow. I've 
now expanded into the Georgian Savannah area, people that I come across, anyone that you know of that you've met, you think would be a worthy uh, person to uh, paint their achievements or paint their mission statement, I would love to do this. This is just for fun, pure pleasure, nothing more, not trying to make money at all on this. This is just something for me that I really enjoy. Well, I hope you know a little bit more about me now. I'm looking forward to getting to know more about you and helping you get prepared for your career as a professional illustrator. Thank you very much.